This is what I'm going to be using today. This is a small dead fish with a plastic skirt. This is partly for streamlining and keeping the fish in one piece, but also partly so that I can see it uh, in the water. But if this boat were a time machine, and if I were fishing for Zephactinus, that's a fish that grew to around 20 feet in length and a good 2,000 pounds in weight with a mouthful of big teeth, I might be going for something more like that. The large eye sockets on the Zephactinus skull suggest to me that it was a sight predator, just like the sailfish. Scouring clear water for signs of activity, then locking on and pursuing its prey to the bitter end. We have some teasers off the back, in addition to the wake of the boat, and there are baits swimming fast across the surface. I'm waiting for something to hit one of those. I'm on a mission to hunt down the biggest, most terrifying river monster that ever lived. My latest contender is the Zephactinus, whose giant streamlined fossils suggest a predator engineered for speed. To help me construct a mental picture of a live Zephactinus, I'm after the fastest fish alive today, the sailfish. Yes. The only problem is, I've never tried to bring in a fish that can swim this fast. That'll happen very, very quickly. It's just jumping there in the distance. I think I'm under that. I'm going to come that side. If the other lures don't come in fast, my line will get tangled and the fish will yep. get away. Here we go. This fish can strip line in explosive bursts approaching 70 miles per hour. All right, let's get some line back in. Oh, no, jump, 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 jump. And again. I'm going to go around to the front, round to the front, round to the front. If I can keep it on the hook, it should tire enough for me to bring it in. Slowly going in line. Sailfish have been known to impale fishermen during the struggle to bring them on board. This is a real first for me. Sailfish. That's the reason it's called that. This fish is said to be the fastest fish on the planet today, uh, clocked at nearly 70 miles an hour. The sail is a bit of a mystery. Some say it's used to corral smaller fish, others that it improves maneuverability. But when it's down, I can see how closely this fish shares a body plan with Zephactinus. It's just this streamlined tubular shape, built for speed, very characteristic shaped tail, like a bit of aeronautical engineering. It's almost identical to the giant fossil tail. So too are the pectoral fins. But that's where the similarities end. Pointed bill, which it uses to stun prey. No real teeth to speak of, it's got sort of gripping teeth. This is a fish, it doesn't bite lumps out of other fish, it swallows them whole. Zephactinus had jaws that could bite a fish like this in half. The Zephactinus was the biggest fish of this general body design that's ever lived. It grew up to about 20 feet long. But this is the closest thing we've got to give us an, an in-the-flesh idea of what that might have been like. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.